good, YouTube? Backyard barbecues and barbecues. This is your boy, Mr. B. Um, today is Sunday. I am, pardon me for uploading this video late, but I'm uploading it. It's from the actual cook we did uh, on the 4th of July. Um, I know 4th of July was maybe two or three weeks ago, but I want to get the video out just so y'all can see what we were doing on the 4th of July. I know I posted a video earlier. Um, I think we was out there with one of the NFL players doing a uh, a, a, a family reunion, actually. Yeah, we was doing a family reunion. That was the Saturday of the 4th of July weekend. And the actual 4th was on a Monday. So we were doing a cook and preps for that. And um, I want to show you all that video. Hope you enjoy it. Um, got some news coming up uh, for the month of September. So stay tuned for a video on that. I'm going to talk about what I got going on. Me and my team. Uh, what we got going on with backyard barbecues? This is the first for me. Never did it, but uh, won't talk about it here. I'll talk about it in another video. So stay tuned for that. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video, y'all. Oh, and be on the lookout, man. We're gonna do random giveaways now. I know I, you know, as I was getting started in this YouTube channel and just posting videos for fun, uh, I'm loving it, man. I'm having a blast doing it. Um, I take the positive with the negative, and we go from there. Keep in mind, the idea of this is, it's nothing about being professional here. It's about just grabbing what you got in the kitchen and cooking and going for what you know, man. You know what I mean? Not having to go to the store all the time and buy, you know, $100 worth of, of seasoning just to find out that somebody's recommendation um, was not all that good to you. And you lost 100 bucks. So, it's all about, like I said, just raw, uncut video. We talk about any and everything, man. We just doing it, having a blast doing it. Uh... Be on the lookout for my buddy uh, Smitty, uh, cooking with Smitty. His channel, he he, I guess he wanna, he claims he uh, uh is a better cook than me, so he's gonna uh, start him a channel and we're gonna go back and forth. So be on the lookout for that, man. It's gonna be fun, cause you we all know I'm the best, right? Or well, I'm better than him, but don't tell him that. But anyway, um, stay tuned to the video. Hope you enjoy, and uh, be on the lookout, like I said, for upcoming video and what we got going next gonna be exciting man i'm amped up about it never did it before but ain't gonna spoil the fun for you gotta stay tuned to watch it i uh, hope you enjoyed the video y'all and i'll see you next week hey what's up y'all this your boy mr b from backyard barbecue and currently right now we got big shirley going on oh uh, we about to put a uh load them out today i think we're doing about 11 slabs we got turkey wings we got pork belly we got uh chicken drumsticks you see right here we got thighs leg quarters i'm sorry and a couple breasts, man. We loading it out. Um, 4th of July weekend. We going all in, y'all. If you in the area, hit me up. I got a plate for you. Uh, but anyway, without further ado, I'm going to show you what we seasoning our chicken with today. Uh, we're doing different kinds, but I'm going to show you this right here, what we're doing on the drumstick. Stay tuned. All right, y'all. We back. And uh, yeah, as y'all can see, we got a number of drumsticks right now. Uh, Shirley Fab. Let me go out here right quick. Got cherry wood. I got the whole log now. Got a hook up, man. My man hooked me up. You can see my temps. About 275 over there. 275. You want to serve the fab and you got questions on tip? Hey, says it all. 275. 275. Man, you can't get no better. Can't get no better. Alright, anyway, back to this uh your leg quarters. See we got our handy dandy table that we are uh, Took and uh took the legs off of because it worked better than a cutting board. Oh, um, I had a grip yeah, on the table on the table. Anyway, uh, we actually gonna show you the seasoning that we use to get this thing done, y'all. Like I said, so this is drumsticks. They don't take long to cook. Uh, without further ado, we're gonna tell you what season we're using, y'all. Okay, I got. Tell them what you got going on. Right, I got let me, a. Let me get a good, good view over here. Okay, I got a fresh farm, a fresh finds. It's a number of. Poacher seasoning. A poacher seasoning. Um, nothing, if you don't want to buy this brand, all you got to do is get some sage, thyme, it's a little oregano, some salt. Basically the same thing that an Italian, the Italian mix seasoning, same thing this is. So all you do is take that, add a little black pepper, a little red pepper, and you're good to go. So Italian seasoning, if you can't find poacher seasoning, Italian seasoning, red pepper, black pepper, put it in a grinder, grind it down, and you'll get this nice powder here. To give you the sage, give you that pretty color, that nice green you want. Because when it hits the heat, 
We all know it's turning dark black. Yeah. We're gonna give you a secret tip today, y'all. Fun fact for the day. This chicken has been brined overnight, about 16 hours. Not the brine. You gonna give him the brine? Oh man. It is 4th of July. Go ahead. Yeah, man. it's 4th of July. I'm in the giving mood. Alright. Uh brown sugar, water, and kosher salt. You see the chicken in that right there overnight? Uh put some ice in it in your cooler on top of it to keep keep your chicken below 40 degrees and let it sit all night. Man, that thing when them chicken thighs, I'll tell you, thighs and leg quarters take that brown sugar and salt the best. Yeah. But uh, we're gonna try these leg quarters out and see how they turn out today. Pretty sure to do the same thing. Breasts probably do the same thing. The wings, they, they, it's kind of hard for them to take. You gotta do that for a longer period of time. But anyway, uh, I'm gonna show all the other season using this barbecue right here. Uh, we're gonna do a little barbecue. I kind of mixed that. That is a McCormick, but it's a little low, so I added in um, some brown sugar. Brown sugar. I did some garlic and black pepper. Mix okay. a little bit in there. Hey, all this stuff right here, I mean, not the McCormick's, but all this stuff right here comes from the dollar store, y'all. Hey, this, hey. Hey, if you're cheap like us, 86 paprika. Cent, you can get that at Walmart for like 87 cents. What's that, another paprika? Yep. Regular season salt that costs you when you can't oh, afford You can't afford Lyra's? Come on. Dollar store. Season salt. 16 ounces. There you go. You talking about some of the. I tell you what, man, we was on a family reunion the other day. Hey, how you doing? All right. Got the men in black dog over there, y'all. Oh, uh, what that dog name was? Oh, what's that dog name? Damn pug. Yeah, little pug. Hey, I can't think his name. See that little dog? Say hey. <laughs> that one of my neighbors walking a dog. Hey, she from Columbia, y'all. Anyway, uh, yeah. Yeah, take this top off. Damn. You got it, you almost got it. You have to bust it open. Oh, there you man. go. There we go. Alright. It's perfect too. Trash man come today. So I get all my trash out. You know what I'm saying? Everything's set up and put on the grill. And then we just sit down and relax, man. Once we get these ribs done. And we're going to go from there. And give you this Give me all our secrets, y'all. Give me all our secrets. I wish you could smell this, man. The brine, the brine will take. I'm telling you, that brine is a monster. Hey, right, once we show you the final product on these on the, the legs, man, you be amazed. Once again, uh, I'm gonna actually put a link in the description. If I can find them all online, I'm gonna put all these uh, seasonings, uh, okay. or the ones I can find, I, I'll put them down at the bottom so you can go look at them. So when you go into the store or whatnot, then you'll know exactly what to get. Try it out. Send me pictures and let me know how it look. You see that reddish color? Remember, the reddish color, if you haven't seen one, some of the previous videos for the new subscribers, paprika doesn't really have a taste, but what it does is it makes your meat dark red. So if you're trying to impress people, I mean, outside of the taste, um, get yourself some of this, man. No special uh, paprika. Paprika is paprika to me. Yeah. You know, like certain things like onions, you know, I get like certain white onions or body of your onions. The smell, but paprika, paprika, you know, it don't matter. Oh. You spend five dollars on a bottle, and I can spend a dollar, and it do the same thing. Yeah. Only difference you got regular paprika, and you got your sweet, and then you got your smoke. Now, we, we'll do another video on somebody, show you a quick yeah. trick. All right, let me go out here and get my pan for transporting. Then I'm gonna show y'all us putting it on the grill, and I'm gonna show y'all the final product, y'all. Yep. Yeah, man, we do this. We do this for fun, but we do this. Uh, hey, keep in mind that that thousand subscriber giveaway. I'm shooting this video before that, so hopefully, uh, I can upload this video before the giveaway. You got it? Yeah, I got it. Get it out to this grill. Like I said, that's cherry. I got oak in there. I'm gonna y'all. I'm just giving y'all tips today. Oh, look at that. You already got chicken in there. Oh, I'm gonna glue it up. Hold on, I got you. Pull this open. She cooking good, there, bro. Mm hmm. There we go. Look at We got drumsticks loaded. I think it's about 44 drumsticks in there. Don't ask me how I know that. I'll just be counting. We're gonna help you out a little bit, huh? I'm going to draw them from the hell. Make sure I got them on my legs. 
Hey, you notice if you look at this chicken, notice how I'm doing it. Like I'm doing them all, all opposite different directions. Like you see that one, one going north, the other one going south. The reason for that is even cooking. You don't want to put them, you know, two two legs with the bottom of the legs together because what it does is the heat will go through and it'll it'll, it'll have your meat drawn up on the leg too quick and you'll think it's done when it's actually not. Uh, the easiest way to get to a temp gauge, a thermal pin. I got the MK4. I think that's what the model is. Um, but you can use the MK3 too. They do the same thing. It's gonna cost you some money, but however, the M the, the thermal pin is the one they use in competition. And I'm talking about judges when they're coming around and they judge your meat because when you actually put it on display for uh, for eating, you know, for that bite bite through skin, you uh, push the door open a little bit. Um, they want to make sure your chicken is a, 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 at 140 degrees. You got it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so keep that in mind. 140 degrees. Uh oh, go to the other end. Yeah, yeah, so I'm gonna put the ribs over there. Yep. And there we have it, y'all. Uh stay tuned, man. We're gonna show you the final product. I ain't gonna go through the entire cook today on this, but uh just want to show you a little seasoning on some of the chicken. Y'all y'all want a recipe. I don't really write recipes down. It uh, depends on how we feel and what people recommend or request. And then we go from there. Alright, we close it up. And I'll be back at the end to show y'all the final product. Um, man, I was gonna give y'all a, 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 a free tip. Oh, yeah. Getting your tips up, right? On any grill, start with some white oak. Let me show in the back of the truck. Like I said, y'all see this wood right here? Let me show you the back of my truck. Look at all them cherry logs. I got the actual logs. That way it burns slower. But you see those splits on there? That's white oak. This oak right here, Man, we'll get your, your smoker up the tilt quicker than I don't know what. I think it took me 30 minutes today. Uh, just put some chicken on that, so it's probably gonna climb up to about 250 here in a little bit. Remember when I told you about them temps, right? Look at that. I'm just showing you that's with chicken on there already. So it's slowly coming up the temp. So anyway, stay tuned. We'll be back and show you the final product, man. Show you how this uh, Shirley Fab get down today. All right. All right, y'all, we back. See us uh, putting this uh, secret concoction on him. Can't get y'all that one now, you know what I'm saying? Y'all be cooking like me. Y'all beat me in cooking then if we uh, go that route. Uh, see these ribs right here? Yeah, look at um, Look at the bone. Look at the bone. Yep, see that juice? It's called that rib all juice. <laughs> Look at that, we're about to sit them back on the grill, tighten up. About 15, 10 to 15 minutes, so that sauce uh, uh, cooking to the meat. And then we're pulling them off and wrapping them and uh, taking them on their way to their uh, next household, y'all. Uh, comment below, tell me what you think, man. Uh, we need to go over here, I'm gonna show you the chicken in a minute. All right, we're going over here to the warmer. Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna show y'all. See that pork belly on the bottom? It's been sitting in my pan right here. Now it's uh, about three hours. Now it's time to uh, go on and tighten up and make them burn in. That's some new chicken I just put on now. I'm gonna spread that. Yeah, look at them drumsticks, y'all. Number drumsticks on top. You see that meat pulling out the bone? Look at that cherry red flavor. Look at the leg quarter. Yes, sir. we doing it, y'all. All right, let me close this up. All right. Here we go. Look at all this chicken. Blood sauce. Got some sauce. Got some more sauce. Woo! Leg quarters, baby. We getting down. Hey, what's up, y'all? I know, I know. I promised y'all I was going to show y'all the final product. But them, them ribs are moving so fast with the neighbors uh, coming over and snatching them off my grill and all of that, that uh, it totally slipped my mind. Like I said, it was the 4th of July uh, weekend. We were out here having a blast, man. Uh, alcohol was involved. And uh, so forth, having a good time, man. That's what it's all about. Enjoy the neighbors. 
uh, family, friends all coming over, doing a good thing. What? Um, you see these drumsticks. Anyway, I just pulled them out of this. So stay tuned for a video on what this is. Right? We just got two of them ordered um, just because we do a lot of deliveries and stuff. So stay tuned. And we're going to uh, talk about this box, this big black box in an, uh, another video. So stay tuned for that and be on the lookout for that. I'm going to explain what it does, how it works, etc. But anyway, I'm going to hold y'all up. Hope y'all enjoy your 4th of July. This is your boy, Mr. B from Backyard Barbecue. Show y'all leftovers, sorry. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, share my videos, and holla at your boy.